Hello, everyone. Sam is here from creativetradingsystems.com uh, making this video to answer a question being asked on uh, my YouTube uh, video that um, do I ever have losses or I just don't show them, right? So, yes, the answer is that, yes, I do have losses. My SL hits as well. And everybody, nobody is out there that, you know, without a loss. So <clears throat> what is it and how is it? Let me explain. Now, this is um, my, my, my trades last week. So let me show you five of these last uh, five trades of me, uh, me doing last week, right? So January, I mean, June, June 1st, and then uh, before, five trades. So this is the first one. It's... Um, I mean, the last one on Thursday, the 75 pip, you start adding up, and then it is 115. So that's um, <clears throat> 75 plus 115 plus another one, 85 plus 75 plus one more. 95. So these five trades totaling 445. 445 pip. Five trades. Average comes out like 90 pip a trade, right? Now, notice that my, my entry setup, my entry right here, my entry, and this is where red candle turn blue. As soon as they turn blue, I open the trade. This is this one. Look at the other one, same setup. As soon as blue candle turns red, for short, I open the trade. And I place my SL right above or below the last high or low, like right here. Uh, for long, uh, for short, see the entry is here, SL is here. Uh, for long, entry is here, SL is right here, right? Once my uh, the, the price move in my direction like 25 30 pip i bring my sl to break even okay but my sl is always 25 pip and i make the entry i put my sl right here that's not the rule number one in my system here i put the last last trade is like uh on june uh sorry january 1st 75 pip my sl my entry was right here sell and my sl was here and when the price was here, I move it to break even. And then it moves down and I sit on break even plus five, six pip or 10 pip. Okay, this is the idea. The, every time I make the entry by this system and every time my SL is fixed 25 pip, sometimes 24, sometimes 25. And sometimes if I'm late, say maybe 26, 27, but 25 is the average. My SL is 25 pip. Now, 50% of the time, my SL hits full 25 pip, and 50% of the time, my SL hit as break even as I move my SL. And then, if the price goes back and hit me, my SL, I'm out at break even, right? So, now let's do some math. Now, five trades, last five trades, which went my way, totaling 445 pip. So, let's say out of 10, Coin toss, coin toss probability, right? 50%. So 50% is five trades. Goes my way and give me 445. 50% of the trades goes the other way, give me losses. Now out of that, let's say three trades hit my SL for full, 25 pip. So that's 75 pip loss. And two trades hit my SL at break even, right? So out of five, which went wrong, I lost 75 pip, 25 pip each. And the one, the other five, which went my way positive, gave me a total of 445 pip. Now minus 75 pip out of 445 pip. So that is 370 pip positive. So now tell me that 
is it worth me showing the losses, make all this chart, write down everything, and then show that, okay, this is how I lost 25. These losses are nothing to me. They're literally nothing. And my system is 70% and more positive, 70, 80%. Not 50%, but I gave you the example based on coin toss 50% probability. So out of 10 trades, if five goes my way and five goes the wrong way, even if five goes, if I, you, if you count five hit my SL full 25 pip, all five of them, that's 125. So 445 minus 125. I still have 320 pip positive in 10 trades. Okay, this is how it is. It is not about right or wrong. It is about how to manage the trade, how you can manage each trade. Keep your losses minimum and let the, uh, the winner runs, right? That's, that's what they say. So that's how it is. So, but how much you, you will let the winner run it all depends on the targets. What is the target? Well, how far this pair can go, right? Like, for example, here, I made an entry and my target was this and it came and hit the target. But how do I get the target? It based on several factors. Number one is the daily range. Every pair has a daily range. See, for example, uh, Euro Aussie. That This pair has a daily range. Let me show it to you, Euro Aussie. If I put that indicator here, and it will give me the daily range immediately. Where the heck is that? And the here we go. Go here. You see that the daily range of this pair is 129. So if I made an entry when the pair has already traveled, travel, let's say 40 pips. So 40 pips are already gone then what, what it is left over is 90 pips. So if I make an entry after 40 pips are already gone, then I have a shot at 90 pips. Out of that, maybe around 70, 80, I will close my trade, not 30 or 40 pips. Okay, that's how it is. Now this, this you see this uh, chart here? Let me show you. I made this chart when, uh, if I have it, I think, is this the one? Yeah, look at that. On 31st, May 31st, I had an idea that this thing is going to drop here. Not all, you know, in one day, I'll, you know, you know, several hundred pips, no, right? Little by little, but it's supposed to drop. So it started to drop and I got in and I got this trade. The one I just showed you, where the heck is that? Uh, this one, see, on the June 1st, it was, it started to drop. I got in, I got out, 75 pips. And this is what happened to that chart so far. It dropped from there to here. How many pips? So far, 285 pips. And out of that, I got 75 pips. So what's the big deal? It's so simple, right? It's probably going to drop more after the retracement. My target is here. That's a harmonic pattern, right? So this is how it is. Yes. So my answer is, yeah, I do have losses, but they are not to mention. I like very, you know, worthless <laughs> losses, right? 25 pip always after the entry and my entry, if the trade is going in my way, I know exactly where the heck is going. Every day, uh, every uh, pair move a certain amount of pipage. Almost like same, right? If, uh, for, for example, GJ has 160, 170 pip daily range, pound yen. So if you make an entry, you can expect like 100, 110, 20, 30 pip trade easy. You don't supposed to close, right? And one of that trade covers my five losses. <laughs> All right. So this is how it is. So I hope I answered the question pretty good. And um, if you still have any, uh, you know, uh, any other question, just uh, email me. Don't post a question on the YouTube. Sometimes I miss it, you know, but I don't miss email. So, you know, myforestmagicwebgmail.com. You can email there. In detail, I will answer you. I'll make a video to explain. This is how it works. Okay. Uh, by the way, I, you know, I, I'm not somebody new. If I, if I show you, this is, um, the, let me see, um, my, where the heck it go? 
Um, okay. Let me just uh, open a new one. Hold on. Um, oh, that's unbelievable, man. Um, I just... Okay. See this Forex factory. I am here. And if I show you my profile, you will see this. Um, I uh, joined Forex factory in February 2008. That is 15 years from now. 15 years ago, I joined this forest factory. I started the first, you know, trading like one year before that. That's a total of 16 years. So I am in this business 16 years. I'm not new. So that tells you, you know, that I probably know a little bit about this business, right? <laughs> so this is how it is. So I, you know, I tried every single thing and I tried, you know, every strategy system, all of that. And finally, I got uh you know i made something that it it you know it has almost everything need needed to make a precise entry right so that's why my system is like 70 80 percent like out of 10 trades maybe three will hit two or three will hit the sl and the other goes my way but i learned mm -hmm. how to go uh, my way and how far to go my way for example let's say see gj i was talking about gj uh, daily range is um, 363 pip, right? So if I make the entry after like even let's say 50 pip, 40 or 50 pip already, you know, uh, posted, right? And I find my entry and I make the entries, then I have a shot at 110, 120 pip easy. And that's why you see my trades are like that, a lot of them. Uh, I just showed you five trades. Let me show you more. Just like this one, this one, 115, 85, 75, 95, based on the daily range. And, you know, some of the 80, 50, 100, you know, 60. Th these are the ones that already, uh, you know, travel uh, a little bit. Or the, two things. If the pair already traveled that much or if the pair... Uh, you catch an early entry, but uh, the time is gone for the day and pair has not moved, right? So in that day, in, at that time, you know, if I see that the day is about to, 24-hour day is about to over and the pair has not moved much, but the time is almost running out, I close the trade for even less amount than the daily range. See, this is your USD 90, but it's what, like... Um, uh, almost like two days. Uh, pound Nuzi, 95. This is a monster. This moves big. Uh, 95 Pound Aussie. It's also another monster. It moves big. So, but setup, you can see that always the same setup. Everywhere is the same setup. Look at that. How beautiful is Pound Nuzi, the same setup. Yellow line is above the black. This indicates all the way down, turning to the upside. Red candle comes higher, low. And that candle has turned blue. I open the trade here. I put my SL here. You can see the price never hit my SL here. Right? Here, the same thing. You're a USD. The price is start to go down, and then it went down big time. Straight up. Like here, straight, sim simple. Same thing. You can see simple here. Same thing. Here, same thing. And now, right after the entry, I'm in positive. But like I said, that some, see this? Exactly. Uh, reversal candle, red candle. I opened the trade. My SL was here. Never hit the SL. Right? But some do, like I said, yeah. And then they're only either 25 pip or less or nothing. Break it. Okay? So this is how it is. So uh, I hope I answered the question. So if you like what you saw, if this thing is clear, you want to sign up, you want to go uh, on my website, creativecreatingsystem.com. And you can sign up there and um, uh, or one on one course if you want to understand everything. By the way, let me show you something that uh, current a uh, couple of very, very good uh, setup. This is how you uh, I evaluate everything. Right? This is a USD yen daily chart. Right? And this is what I'm showing here is a bearish bad pattern underway. It's not complete yet and it's going to be completed here. 
but the trend is bullish. So the idea is not that after the finishing, you're going to trade. I am already trading from point C because the trend is bullish. So if you can catch these um, patterns early, you can trade like that. Now, the same chart, I have other study applied on the same chart. Means like this. Now, this is the Elliott wave calculation. Okay. And this is pointing towards 47.71. And then this um, <clears throat> harmonic pattern bad is finishing around 49. This is 46 at 78%. So somewhere in between. So both studies showing the same target. Right? That's why I made these both charts. And you know, I'm if if I find a long setup. That's where the price is going. Then I will take it and I'll take it to that level day by day, you know, depend on the daily range. Not it's not gonna go in one day, right? So this bullish candle you can see <clears throat> this is the candle after NFP Friday, last Friday, uh June 2nd, right? And so bullish candle. So that tells me that. This pair has to go to the upside, and I when I do uh, I did uh, both studies when I applied the you know, harmonic patterns and Elliott wave, they're both pointing towards this area. So I said, okay, no problem. This thing is going there, and I have several other setups in several different pairs, and then uh, when they start moving in that direction, I find my setup and I take the trades. Simple. But it did, you know, I learned this, like I said, 16 years I'm in this business. So I learned. Okay. Um, all right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, a wonderful new trading week. Like I said, that if you're interested, go on my website, creativetradingsystem.com and take it from there and start learning. So bye for now and talk to you guys later.